Greg Knuckles here with stringtheory.com, and today we're talking about the bench press. Specifically, strength out of the bottom portion of the bench press, and options to give you a longer range of motion. Specifically, the question I was asked was about flat-backed bench. A lot of geared benchers tend to bench raw more often in the off-season to strengthen their bench off the chest because that's something that is neglected in geared work. So the question was, would benching with a flat back as opposed to an arch do the same thing for a raw bencher? And potentially it would, but I still wouldn't recommend it simply because there are better options. It basically comes down to a risk to reward calculus. And it's not that benching with a flat back is inherently risky. Uh, it might be more so for some people than others, but there are clearly a lot of people who have benched with a flat back their entire lives uh, and never got shoulder problems. Jennifer Thompson is a good example. Uh, she has a relatively flat backed bench and is absurdly strong. I think she's benched 308 at 132 and has never had any shoulder problems that I'm aware of. Mike McDonald, who is a great bencher of yesteryear, he, he benched, I think, 606 at 242 and 582 at 220. Uh, he was also a relatively flat-backed bencher, never had any shoulder problems that I'm aware of. So yeah, you can definitely bench, some people can definitely bench with a flat back and never have shoulder issues, but some people will. So I wouldn't recommend flat-backed benches just as a general recommendation, simply because for some people they do carry risks and there are other options that can help you accomplish the same thing that flat-backed benches would that don't carry the same risks. So that's what I'll be talking about in this video. So number one is the close grip bench press. A lot of people think of the close grip primarily as a triceps exercise, but when you actually think about it, when your grip moves in a little closer, your elbow ends up being a bit lower when the bar is on your chest versus if your grip is wider. So close grip benching actually helps you work through that longer range of motion as well. The next thing would be floor press. That doesn't necessarily give you a longer range of motion, but it forces you to start the press from a dead stop without any assistance from your legs. And most people are actually a little bit weaker a couple inches off the chest than right on the chest. So that weakness out of the bottom of a bench floor press can help a lot of people with that. The next one is paused benching. If you're not already doing paused benches uh, and you're a power lifter, then you probably should because you need to do them for competition. If you're not looking to compete and you're used to just benching touch and go, then benching with a short pause can help you develop some of that strength out of the bottom. If you're used to benching with a pause, then benching with a slightly longer one can serve the same purpose. The next one is what's been called lately the Spoto Press after Eric Spoto, who has the all-time world record bench press at super heavyweight. But people have been doing this exercise forever. Basically, it's a paused bench press, but instead of pausing with the bar on your chest, you let it hover about half an inch off of your chest. So you actually have to continue controlling the weight and you can't actually let it rest on your chest and let your body support the weight. The next one is benching with your feet up. Uh, again, you can still do this with an arch. It can be the exact same bench stroke, except you have to actually use your pecs, triceps, shoulders to produce more of the force to lift the bar off of your chest since you don't have the assistance of leg drive. And the next one is pin press with the bar starting right around your chest, either barely touching your chest or barely hovering off of it. Uh, you can still use leg drive with this, but what it does is, since you're not lowering the weight beforehand, you don't have that stretch reflex and the elastic energy from the centric part of the muscle to help you reverse the weight. So it also helps build strength out of the hole. There are two final options that aren't actually bench press variations that serve this purpose very well also. The first is dumbbell press, because with a dumbbell, you don't have to worry about the bar stopping you right here. You can keep going a little bit lower. And unlike flat back bench, you're not locked into a pronated hand position. You can do them with a neutral grip. So if it does start causing shoulder discomfort, uh, you can, instead of dumbbell benching here, as you lower it, you can do a neutral grip to take some of that stress off of your shoulders. 
And another one, for similar reasons, would be dips. Again, because you can do them with a neutral grip, um, a more shoulder-friendly option that still allows for a longer range of motion. Obviously, don't take any of this as physical therapy or rehab advice or anything like that. I'm just a dude who lifts heavy weights, giving you advice about lifting heavy weights. So uh, all of these options I just went through today, I see them as uh, things with the same potential upside as flat back bench that carry fewer risks. But obviously, none of them are completely risk-free, as picking up heavy things is not completely risk-free. And some of them may cause you more discomfort than others. So I gave you a pretty long list of options. So just go with the ones that are more comfortable for you because they all accomplish basically the same purpose. So if one of them is more comfortable and one of them hurts, obviously go with the one that's more comfortable. All right, guys, so this was a Q&A video. I'm going to start doing these more often. So if you have questions, ask them in the comments below. If I like them, then I'll respond to them. If I don't, then I probably won't respond to them, but I will appreciate that you asked. Uh, so that's it, guys. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.